Hi, I'm Ride, your Chief Espresso Officer, and today I want to talk about some more latte art. You guys have been sending me all your pictures of the love hearts, and that's fantastic, and I think some of you are ready for the next level latte art, the Rosetta. So the Rosetta is the next logical progression in your latte art. So if you haven't mastered the love heart, then make sure you go back and watch my other video because there's a couple of fundamental things that you need to learn that I won't cover in this video. So let's get into it and start steaming our silky milk and we'll meet back here in a moment, ready to pour our first rosetta. So the same as with every latte art, you need to lay the foundation. So we want to pour halfway up the cup first. I like to spin it around because you get that nice gradients coming through, but it's up to you. If you're doing it the other way, make sure you suck out all of those white bits as they come up. Now that we've gone up halfway up the cup, we want to start pouring at the back of the cup to create the base. So just until the first milk spills out, creates a couple of those nice concentric circles at the back. Then evenly rock the milk jug side by side as you slowly pull the jug forward towards the front of the cup. And when we get close to the top of the cup being filled, we can lift the pitcher high and move it to the back of the cup again to finish it off. So let's troubleshoot some mistakes. The first mistake people make is when starting on rosettas is to wiggle it too quickly and too small and aggressively. And this creates kind of like a pine tree twig rather than a nice rosetta as you can see here. So if you're struggling to get the side rocking, go back to doing a love heart and just practice the side to side because that'll get you some of those nice concentric circles. And when you see some nice concentric circles around the love heart, then you know you're ready to start on your rosettas again. Another mistake that people make is pushing the pitcher towards the back of the cup too quickly and too low, which doesn't allow for a nice thin line to be created through the middle of the branch and it pulls all the leaves right in and it forms a really odd looking leaf. So now when you get to the top of the rosetta, you can just keep forming that last little peak. Drop the milk jug as low as you can to the cup to really help billow it out. And then when you're ready, pull it up and go evenly and nicely to the back of the cup. So remember to practice the speed of the rocking side to side, get that nice and even and the speed of pulling the pitcher towards the front of the cup. Now I want to see you guys sending me your images of your rosettas. And if you need feedback or need any extra help, ping me and I'll respond as best I can. I'm Ride, your Chief Espresso Officer. Enjoy your brew.